Angao Fela Bonjour and welcome to Check Your Freedom. This is the only show that gives a platform to you, the youth of Africa, to discuss issues that matter to you. Today we are discussing violence towards women and children by men. Before we start the discussion, I want you to have a look at this. Violence against women and children is a massive global problem. According to the World Health Organization, about one in three or 30% of women worldwide have been subjected to either physical or sexual intimate partner violence or non-partner physical or sexual violence in their lifetime. What can be done to deal with the prevalence of violence towards women and children by men? Although there are a few ways to deal with the prevalence of violence against women and children by men, such as advocacy for female rights and education around the subject for boys and males, the most immediately available instrument is the law. Governments should make the cost of committing violence of any form against women and children high. Sentences and cases which have been successfully convicted should be harsh to send the message that it is a serious crime with serious consequences. Remember, you stand a chance of winning an amazing hamper from us. Visit www.checkyourfreedom.tv and access our amazing digital quiz to learn more about your freedom. It's now time to connect with our amazing young voices as they weigh in on the topic at hand, which is violence towards women and children by men. Here's what they had to say. Do you believe that in your country there's enough education and discussion about violence towards women and children by men? I think there's enough education on the issue. I mean, we see posters every day, we see ads on TV, and we're actually having um, domestic violence and gender-based violence clubs, uh, um, anti-violence clubs being established in schools. But as for discussion, I wouldn't say we have much of that. So we've got much of education, but then the discussion is limited. As an information is there, but people are not willing to take up and act up on, on it. So I think that's where we are right now as a country. Why do you think women and children tend to be the victims of domestic violence? Poverty um, exposes women and children to violence because um, they have to be dependent. And I've come across to the stories that um, families have to marry their children, very young children, early, around seven years, eight years, so that they can get dowry. How can men contribute to the reduction of violence against women and children? I think um, as men society, we need to start talking about these things, start having discussions around it. Um, because what I think is lacking is that there is not much discussion that males are having with other males around um, violence against women and children. So I think that um, we need to have discussions and we also need to encourage and um, teach other young boys that are growing up to respect women. We took our cameras to the streets to get more opinions from the youth. We asked them what do they think there is enough education aimed at the youth about violence towards women and children by men. Here's what they had to say. There's not that much of um, you know, effort that is invested in um, you know, educating young people, especially young men. There is enough. Um education aimed at the youth. I just think that the youth chooses what they want to entertain and what they don't want to entertain. What we can invest in is young people, young men, young boys, and I don't think that is the element that, you know, um, South Africans are really investing in. Kids um, do things that they see from parents, um, uncles, aunties, or TVs, so that should be taken away from kids. Children, children are not supposed to see that because when they see it, they do it. Visit our social media pages and let us know what you think about today's topic. While you're online, check our interactive digital quiz, share it with your friends and family. By doing so, you stand a chance of winning an amazing hamper from us. It's been wonderful being with you today. Until next time, goodbye.